everybody, my name is Tyler Patterson. This is another Forage Basics video. So this video will basically be going over the candlestick formations. So if any of you have ever seen a Forex chart, you'll see this candle right here, a red candle. And this candle right here is usually a green candle. Um, but I didn't have a green marker, so I had to make it blue. Um, on the chart, you can really make the candlestick patterns or the candlesticks or the candles any color that you want you don't have to just keep them red and green but that's really the universal colors for like going down and going up red and green stop and go stuff like that so that's probably why when you look at most of the charts you'll see red and green um the first candle that we're gonna go over is the red candle so red nine times out of ten stands for the bearish candle it symbolizes the market moving down so red bearish down red bearish down red bearish down when you see a red candle that means that the market is moving in a downwards motion, right? Okay, so now if you see a green candle, which today this is gonna be symbolized as blue, but if you see a green candle, that's a bullish candle. So these are terminology used by forest traders. So bearish, like I said, just means it's a bearish market. That means it's moving down, just a nickname. A bullish market means that, or a bullish candle or a bullish market, those are two different terms. A bullish market or a, like a bearish market means that overall the market is moving down which it might be a couple green candles, a couple bullish candles in between, but overall the market is moving down. A bullish market means that overall the market is moving up. There may be a, full, a few pullbacks or stuff in between, but overall the market is moving up. But this is a bullish candle symbolized by green, symbolizes the market is moving up. Right here I have a black candle. Um, this is just because, you know, it's the same between the red and the green, I mean, yeah, the red and the green candle. So it's called a candle because these two, you know, lines right here, right here, they're called wicks. So this is a wick right here, and this is a wick. This is all together, a candle composition. The middle part that's filled in is called the body of the um, candle, and then right here and right here. So the candles tell stories, right? So this is the open of the candle and this is the close, but this could also be the close or the open. It just depends on if you're dealing with a bearish candle or a bullish candle. So for a bullish candle, the bottom part will be the open and the top of the candle will be the close. For a bearish candle, the top of the candle will be the open and the bottom of the candle will be the close, right? So you can have different um, candle compositions, but this is basically the formula. So you can have a candle that looks like this with a very tiny wick and then go into like a really big body and maybe a really long wick at the bottom right fill it in and that's the body or you might have a bearish candle with you know a long wick wick a very a very small body and another long wick and that's actually called a shooting star candle um there's all types of you know formations of candles um and in the next video i'm gonna tell y'all what those candle Patterns, those are called candle patterns. Candle patterns. So in the next video, I'm gonna let y'all know what different candle patterns mean and what the stories of the candlestick formations actually tell. But for this video, I just wanted to, you know, make it two separate videos so that you'll know what a bearish candle, a bullish candle, and the composition of the bearish and bullish candle is. So until my next video, comment, like, okay, comment and like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and yeah, on the next one, y'all learn more.